Hey Kevin here from DIYDork.com. Today I want to show you how to clean rust off of chrome using two common items that you probably already have in your house right now. Now the thing is is that it works really well and it's super easy to use so check this out this is really cool. Alright, so as you can see my chrome wheel here has a little bit of rust right here on the ridge where the rainwater likes to sit in it. And uh, since I park on a hill, instead of rolling off, it kind of sits there. So it keeps rusting, but this is actually really easy to clean. All you need is a little bit of water and believe it or not, aluminum foil, just a little piece. Just fold it up, dip it in your water and rub it on there. Seems crazy, but it works. Check this out. Watch that disappear. It's like brand new chrome underneath. And uh, it's really about as simple as that. Now, if you have any issues or it's not quite enough, maybe the water isn't working exactly like you want it to, you can also try Diet Coke with the aluminum. All right? You just rub it on there, and since the aluminum is softer than the metal, it's not going to scratch it. And uh, it just wipes right off. Looks like brand new chrome. Very, very simple. Then all you have to do is just make sure you dry it off really nice. And it looks totally brand new and now obviously it's not uh, it doesn't keep it from rusting again so you're gonna have to protect it with wax or a nice metal polish or something like that but it does work to clean it off really well got a little couple spots over here I'll do again check that out very simple looks like brand new chrome I couldn't believe it when I first tried this but it works great and again let's dry it and once it's totally dry, then protect it with some wax, or some metal polish, and just keep up on it. And it shouldn't really rust too much anymore. And if it does, really easy to clean. All right, now if you were looking at my wheel and going, all right, well that was a new chrome wheel that just has a little bit of rust on it. What about something old that uh, has rust on it? So I picked this up at a thrift store. Some type of digging tool for the garden. I think to plant flowers or bulbs or something like that. It's got a bunch of rust on it. So we're going to put this aluminum and water to the test. So I got the same bowl of water I had earlier, the same little piece of aluminum I had from earlier. All right, dip it in there, see what happens. Should get rid of all the surface rust. Check that out. This thing's looking great. Now these bad rust spots right here should still disappear. Just takes a little more elbow grease. Not bad. It's going to take a little effort, but I'm surprised at how well this is really working. Surface rust went away immediately. And of course the bad spots are going to take a little more. But I'm really impressed with how well this is working. Making this look a way better. It's not going to be like show quality chrome, unless it's a newer piece like my wheel was. But on something like this, just to restore it, make it look a little better. Not bad. Work on a handle here a little bit. See what it does. Who knew that a little bit of water and a little bit of aluminum could do this? Pretty cool. Alright, let's wipe it off and see how that looks now. That is not bad. That looks like a totally different piece. Still have some bad rust spots there. See if I can work on them a little more. It actually is shrinking. Oh yeah, look at that. Just about gone. It was right there. That's impressive. Now I'm going to go one step further with this. Look how gnarly the inside of this looks. Super rusty. Let's see what happens there. See a little bit of metal poking through. Aluminum starting to fall apart a little bit. Yeah, that's definitely going to take some more effort, but it is working. I'm impressed. You start to see it poking through a little bit. I already kind of had worked that area, but right here in the edge, so I just showed you, it's starting to work there. So, some real effort, some real 
elbow grease, you can make this piece look really nice. This is a cool way to, uh, you know, redo an old car bumper that just has some surface thrust on it and you don't want to do a full re-chrome or something like that. Or even a little piece like this, maybe old golf clubs or something, just make them look a little nicer. Very impressive. So there you go, very, very simple. I thought I'd show you a couple of tests to show you how well it really works. Look at that. Looks like a totally different piece now.